Madam Speaker, I rise today in strong support of the Affordable Insulin Now Act, which is critical to protecting more than 7 million American patients who rely on insulin. Today, one in four Americans who need insulin report either having cut back or skipped doses because the cost is simply too high. That is heartbreaking and unacceptable. No one should have to ration their insulin to help reduce costs and risk their health and, in some cases, actually cost them their lives. This bill will make insulin more affordable by capping the out-of-pocket costs for consumers in both Medicare and the private insurance market at $35 a month. This will address the vast disparities between what people pay for insulin in other countries as compared to the United States. Right now, Americans are paying more than 10 times the price for insulin as people in other high-income countries. And that's simply not fair. Right now, one out of every five Americans who depend on insulin have out-of-pocket costs of significantly more than $35 per month. And that is unconscionable considering it that this has been in use. Insulin has been in use for over a century. Now, I've heard my Republican colleagues contend that prices for insulin are coming down. But in reality, prices are going up for the consumer. The list prices set by the manufacturer and which patient cost sharing is based off of keep going up. In fact, reports note that the average retail price for insulin rose 54%, more than double, from 2014 to 2019. Now, Madam Speaker, I continue to strongly support comprehensive efforts to rein in the soaring cost of prescription drugs and empowering Medicare to negotiate fair prices. But we cannot afford to wait any longer to address the price of insulin. I want to commend Representatives Craig, Kildee, and McBath for their leadership and hard work in, to bring, in bringing this important legislation to the House floor. I urge my colleagues on a bipartisan basis to support this life-saving legislation. And with that, I reserve the balance of my time.